right, y'all. Last time we taught you how to use guns right. Now we're gonna teach you how to drive. We ain't gonna use no fancy machine. We're gonna use some good old American steel. This sucker is about 26 years old and she'll run better than anything else out on the road. All right, y'all, now that we're in this beaut of a vehicle, I'm gonna show you how to start her up. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure it's on P for stay put. So you take your key, you put it in that little keyhole, and you turn it. Stupid piece of crap, Ford. Well, one of your trucks don't work. Just use one of the other half dozen vehicles you got in your driveway. Unlike my good friend Dawson over here, I have a good running car. Now the only difference is that we have three pedals. One's the go-go, one's the stop-stop, and one's the engine pedal. Now, in order to start, now we call this car a manual. Now to start a manual, you have to press this engine pedal in, put the key in the keyhole, and start it. Make sure you're in neutral, you can let off the clutch. Review in your working car! Now, a bit more on your manual and shifting the rounds. You gotta pick your favorite number so that you can move about. Mine's personally three. That way I can start out slow, but then keep going fast as I go. But you wanna really know what's my favorite? Racing gear. So you put your car into the clutch engine, then you put in racing, you hold down your pedal, and then you go racing! Now you might have heard that white bordered stop signs are optional. Well, that's actually not true. All stop signs are optional regardless of ethnicity. All right, so the best way to get rid of that annoying seatbelt light is to just kind of reach around and click. That way you don't got to wear the stupid thing, but you don't got a light neither. This one's kind of like a no trespassing sign. You walk to the end, you're going to get shot dead. So now we're going to explain what this little doohickey do. I don't know what the doohickey do. It just kind of makes a clicking noise and there's an arrow on the dash. I'm going to ignore it because you don't need it. And, uh, oh yeah, airbags. We don't use them neither. We die like men. We just right. We don't need no stinking airbags when we That's right. Yeah! That's a Tetris piece. Now you're not supposed to turn left on a red light, but you can if you're quick enough. You hear that? They weren't quick enough. Now you see this? This sign that says Pedzing? Ah, uh, that's not English. All right. All right, we're gonna talk about the point system. Something important to understand about the point system is to make sure you're focused on your driving. So like if you see a disabled person, there's 15 points. A squirrel is five points. A deer is seven points. Let's see. Find somebody in a wheelchair, you're gonna get 50 points instantly. Run over an old person, see how fast they can go and that will judge your point. Oh, 10 points right there. Let's go get them. 10 points. 10 points. 10 points. Now, something important when you're driving Sometimes an accident happens, like you might accidentally hit a pedestrian. If that happens, you don't need to worry about insurance if they're not moving. But if they still are moving, then... Now, you might be driving down the road someday and you notice your car going and then you look over at that gas gauge and you see it's on E. That stands for Ernie, you need to go get some more fuel. And so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be hunting for some gasoline. Uh, so, let's go.
Ernie, get out here! Now it's important when hunting prey, never let it out of your sight. If it gets out of your sight, just start on loading. All right, so ethanol is that stuff they add to gasoline now. And it's also the same stuff in whiskey. So we're gonna test and see if this gas is good. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Cheers. Woo! That's some good Yee! stuff. <laughs>